In today's game, I'm playing the Fury in the top lane. I'm going to show you how to win from the top lane. And we're going up against the Siren. A little bit of a tanky matchup, but honestly, uh, Nefiri does well in both against uh, tanky matchups and the Squishies. Just because later in the game, especially since I have TP to get around the map, I've got the move speed for my ultimate. Is dash around. Uh, we can go ahead and kind of take control of the whole map. So early game, I mean, honestly, Nefiri's uh, damage early... A little bit low, although with the dogs uh, being able to charge, we've got very safe poke in the Scion, and we can just avoid damage when possible. Unless he just like sits there and kills us, right? But I'm gonna try to shove this in. Anytime possible, I'm gonna just spam my Qs. Hitting the first Q applies a bleed. Nice. Mm, got the flash. Woo, we're good. Holy shit. Alright. We got out there. So I could have went E or I could go W. I just went W just so I don't miss in case he like tried to flash my E or something. Oh. Well, he's just flashing on me. That's fine. I was going to try to get the wave shoved in, but we did take TP, so we just TP back. No big deal. So, first item we're going to go, we could go Dusk, you know, the Eclipse, but Duskblade is the way to go. Duskblade's a surefire way where you can go, you can one-shot somebody, you can use the untarget ability from the Duskblade uh, after you've one-shot somebody in teamfight to basically, like, get in and out. So, going to buy boots, that's going to help me uh, dodge out on Sans Q, and also just potentially get away from a gang since I don't have... Uh, since I don't have uh, flash, nice. We're able to dodge it. Wow, he's got a warden there. I'm gonna ping my my Subwani to come. Oh no. The phase rush on the sign almost caught the Sidwani off guard. Um, uh oh. Alright, Shibana's there. I gotta shove this wave in quick. A wave clear early is, uh, it's like okay, just because I've got the Q that I can take through the whole wave, but it's not the best. It's not like an Aurelia, it's not like an Aatrox or any of the uh, other top winners. But it's decent enough where it's like, we'll be able to get the wave shoved in, even on a cannon wave, um, when we kill our opponent, which is nice. You know, champions like, uh, you know, like Trinber, for example, kind of struggle with that uh, at times. Um, a little bit of a weird gold back, because I need about 50 more gold for another longsword. Because we're trying to get out of that Dusk Blade as quickly as possible. I mean, my Dusk Blade dealing 20% uh, more damage based on targets missing health is pretty crazy, especially with our burst. Um, let's see. This guy's level 5. I did miss out on a few minions. And I feel like Sign just naturally gets ahead in terms of, like, experience. Nice. Dog's helping me CS a little bit. Thank you. Good boy. All right. An enemy has been slain. Mm, we could trade into him. He's going with Aldi. So we burn his phase rush. Um... No, him not hitting the wave is actually good. Because he could have just cleared out the whole wave, right? Not bad, not bad. So basically, we can go into the Scion, and then we can use our E not only to deal damage, uh, but to avoid the Scion's Q. And that's basically how we're going to trade. Now we got our ult, we got the roam capability. 
So passively, our W range is just longer every time we put a point in alt. Um, uh, but also, on top of that, uh, we get the uh, the ult active effect, which gives us two more pets, which is just passively more damage, because we've got uh, two more dogs. But it also gives us the move speed and the vision, which is insane for chasing people down. And when playing Nefiri in teamfights, very important that like you look to try to get resets in your ultimate. That way you can get the move speed, you can get the shield. Uh, that we can live through this stuff. Um, he's just dead, right? Take those. I mean, he's going like full inting Scion mode. I mean, we'll take that because uh, the Fury's like snowball so freaking hard. Look, look at my pack right now. And yeah, we're we're gonna get the uh, the pack, the pack mates gained every time we get those resets too. We just get so much damage. Okay, signs back to lane, and we're good to go. Take it back here. Honestly, I'm not like we keep doing this on repeat. Where, like, I get two waves, I get a kill. Let's get right out. Honestly, I'm gonna go and grab a plant. One's most likely spawned. Uh, okay, it's all the way down here though. Okay, I'm pretty sure we just kill him. He he might look to proxy. Um, okay, three minions or a sign kill. I'm going to take a sign kill. I mean, this guy's going like full valve mode right now. Okay. So, you max your W next after your Q just because like the base damage is insane. And your E, a lot of the time, isn't used for the damage, like it can be, right? But it's used for, like, the mobility and just, like, dodging out and stuff. Whereas the W, like, guaranteed, just, like, damage is really nice. Okay. I got the plate, so as long as I attack within the last 8 seconds, should be fine. Like, he's gonna cue this. Oh, he actually has a... A ward there to stop my back. That's annoying. I mean, I've got my ult, man. Alright. We'll let Sedge join in on the fun. Eat him, dogs! And of course, since I had my ult on, I get the move speed. Alright. <laughs> I mean, Sion's doing his best, man, but, uh, best not enough. Oh, I need to be able to TP in. I really want to join in this fight, if possible. Okay. Maybe I can TP in and catch, uh, the Shivana. Get me in there! Oh. Whatever. I got the experience. Wait, he got another phase rush? Wait, I swear he parked phase rush before he died. That was weird. Alright. Gonna ward here. Yeah, this, uh... This sign's not having a good game, guys. Or maybe he is, I don't know. What do you guys call these good deaths? Would Balfs call this a good death? Did 
did he have a ward here? Or is he just checking there? Alright, I'm gonna grab CDR boots. CDR boots will give me the summoner spell cooldown. Give me cooldown for more uh, more E's, more Q's. Uh, my Sivir is kind of popping off. She is uh, very fast. Alright, we gotta teach the sign a lesson for the uh, eighth time. Reset. So it wasn't worth for me to kill Siam because the wave was actually worth more gold and experience, but it is worth for him being dead so that I can take his turret plates. Because if I don't kill Siam there, then I don't get turret plates. And I believe he TP'd there, so. The Fury is crazy strong. Oh my tech got stunned. Sign went in for it. Oh man, this sign's great. I guess this name's Turbo for Turbo Feeding. I don't know. Double kill. I mean, my burst damage is very overtuned, and it's just like the fact that like my go button is like my go button on this character is so just brain dead straightforward. I, I press W, I can't miss it. I just go in. First time playing against Nefiri seems good. Yeah, I mean, it's very good sign. <laughs> so, I uh, got a couple options for this next item. I personally like Link Crawlers, just so I can get that little bit of extra slow. But honestly, just stacking lethality items is pretty good. And you can also go stuff like GA. You can also go Cleaver uh, if you want to be a little bit more of like a tanky frontline. Um, I personally like the Assassin playstyle. All right, so now we're about to run about the map. An ally has been slain. And, uh, yeah, Ezreal, you had a good time living, didn't you? Look at the, look at the dogs, baby. Oh. That's the first one, but you know what? We get two. Looks like my pike was covering the scion and died. Percent. So with the prowler's claw, what happens when I dash in? I get a slow, which can help guarantee my um. Oh, whoops. Um, I accidentally misclicked on the minion. Instead of Wing on the Scion, I'm pretty sure I follow Scion all the way through his ulti. So, unfortunate. I missed a kill on Scion right after he got set up. Oh man, look at that burst damage. It's just basically uncounterable. Alright, well, we're about to get more lethality and more damage. So this guy, is like, he hasn't built a single armor item. I can just stay just one-shotting him. And, I mean, he's getting high enough level now where his death timers are going to start 
being meaningful. So his like inting strategy or whatever. Um, it's not going to do too much. Because I can very easily go and just kill the Scion and then split other side of the map or like join my team with my ulti move speed with oh what the hell? <laughs> I mean look at that damage time be wishing he had old prowlers claw back I mean he wasn't even able to tip the wave since I could just kill his corpse too my cooldowns are just nothing on this character So, I also did go Ultimate Hunter. If you guys you can see my runes here, um, Triumph, Coup de Gras, when it lets you, Ultimate Hunter. Champion doesn't really have, like, too bad of mana issues. Yeah. Oh. I mean, we're just one-shotting everything in sight. Okay, I'm gonna go Edge of Night, just so I get a little bit of tankiness. Also having Edge of Night for if I'm w in on, like, Morgana, so she can't just instantly bind me and cut away. Uh, it just takes away the, uh, you know, the ability for them to counter me, right? Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. With the wave for now, they've got some damage. Oh my god. Your team has destroyed an the bleed, baby. Yeah, okay. I think we're about to pop out of team fight here. Look at my pack, it's huge! I'm gonna try to get the resets. Uh oh. Uh oh, Sivir might die. Oh no! <laughs> the Scion! God, the damage is just gross. Your team has destroyed I mean, the combo so I just uh, W auto with for the Prowlers and then QQ. Um, I do have TP. I might just TP back. I've got 2K, and maybe we could just end the game. Even more lethality, more damage. I almost one shot that that uh, Morgana with just a single Q. Look at my pack. Oh no! Woo, living. Run away! The uh, Sal is looking for me. Okay, couldn't end the game, but we have triple and him down. This game's a wrap. Let's do Baron. Right, I want to see what my damage is with the Baron. Um, I would say Nefiri has a little bit of the new champion syndrome. Where Nefiri is strong because people don't know, like, what the champion's capabilities are. And it's strong because the champions are strong. 
I'm gonna ult just so I can get a little bit more damage on uh, on the Baron, which the Fury is actually one of the few assassins that can solo Baron because I can have my dogs tank. And uh, my E, every time I use it, is healing my dogs. So they tank, I heal them on a uh, five second cooldown, and then even if they die, I'm summoning them every 15 seconds. So you can very easily solo Baron on this character. I don't even need lifesteal. Oh man. That damage is just gross! Alright, it's going. No! The perfect game! That was so worth. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful day.